All right. So, hello everyone. We are going to be doing a video on this carp, but I will let Hans here start off this video. Yes, okay. Hello, YouTube. I am Hans, one of Cicada's friends, and this right here is the 1969, haha, -ha, I know funny number, Dodge Coronet. And in game, it's called the 1969 Bullhorn Conqueror. And this trip that is in front of me or behind me is the Burly B440 Maximus trim. But I'm pretty sure there are other trims, like base trims and stuff. This is like the max one. I'm going to the color Bullhorn. The color is Bullhorn Orange, and the rim is with black and. Okay, uh, should and I go check if there's other trims? Yeah, you can go check. But I know that this car will require you the classic game pass, which is only like 75 Robux. So it is worth getting if you want to get some cool classic cars, such as this one. Although, I must warn you, this thing is a gas guzzler. This thing gets 8.7 miles to the gallon, which, just from speaking from a modern stand, Point that's not very good, yeah. but I mean it was an American car. So all right, well we have the Burley B, uh, 500 hardtop TR and Burley B 45 Maximus, and a load of colors to choose from. You have yeah. huge options here. So one, two, three, four trims. One, two. Like seven or something trims or rims, and the Burley B four four forty Maximus is eighty seven thousand five hundred sixty three, and a bunch of other trims as you can see at the purchase button. They're not too far away from each other. Cheapest one is the five hundred hardtop at sixty one thousand and three hundred fifty two. But let's get back to the car. Yeah, so here is the start for the car. Yeah, it's a it's a rotary V8. The thing is going to sound pretty cool. It also it also has a, a nice cool little hood scoop and everything. And then here is the first right here. And then there's like the ones, the back ones and everything. Yep. And here's the headlights, which are not automatic because this is an older car. And um, yes, those ones the front and then the back. And then here's the reverse lights. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's get into the uh, speed test for this thing. And this thing is actually somewhat fast, but it's it doesn't have a very fast speed. It's just... So let's head over to the main over here and do a speed test real quick. Yeah, so since this is an older car, there's faster ones, but it's still a very good and reasonable speed. Yeah, so it, it is a four speed with a top speed of 113 miles an hour. And here's the braking test. Pretty decent braking, but I mean, you have to remember that back in the 60s and 70s, these cars had drum brakes instead of the regular brakes we have nowadays, and drum brakes are not as efficient. So those were actually pretty good brakes for the time. And overall, I feel like this is actually an okay brake if you're looking for something that's classical and that people like attention, you know, attention. And I mean, the thing is, like, missing you go to the floor, but it is pretty good for Right, basically, if you just need to do like a short race or something, and yeah, I can like it can drift and stuff too. But I mean, obviously, you're not gonna really drift hit, hit, hit a tree most. And uh, yeah, overall, I feel like if you have the classic game pass, I would say this car is probably worth it because I mean, you can people will like be very surprised seeing this because. In this game, and in real life too, not a lot of people own classics anymore. 
So this card will definitely stand out. Because a lot of people just get dates and stuff in this game. And uh, I just crashed, but we don't talk about that. So uh, yeah. Um, and overall, this thing has a pretty good speed rating. But if you're looking for something that can get you, like, that can get you, like, fall, this is not the car for you. That, as mentioned previously, this car gets horrible gas mileage. And this car is already is already going through half of its fuel in like a few minutes. So uh, yeah, overall this is a good car if you want speed and attention getting. But if you want fuel and like, but if you want like fuel efficiency and stuff like that, you're you're not gonna get it with this car. There's much better options there. Yeah, like get a Toyota or a Volvo or something. Not a Hummer though. Yeah, no, Hummers, I think, can, can be even worse than this thing. Yeah, I owned one. It went to lose fuel in, like, five minutes, so I sold it, luckily. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah, overall, that's basically the entire review about this car. And in short, I feel like it is a good purchase if you have the classic Game Pass and the, like, 80 grand for it. Be but yeah, I feel like the car is just generally worth it. Because, you know, it has some good horsepower ratings, and you can probably draw some attention with it, because not a lot of people own classic cars anymore. And yeah, so that's basically the entire review, and we hope you guys enjoyed the video, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Yep, see ya.